Alright guys, so this is what the bookshelf looks like. Now it's made out of metal. And the whole thing seems to be made out of metal. I don't think it's too hard to put together. So you got the brand logo, Vivor. 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 <laughs> um, so we're going to set it up and I'll let you guys know the difficulty level and of course to show you guys what it looks like set up and once we're done, see you in a bit. Okay, my friends. So this is how it's going to go. And okay, let's see if we can explain this to you guys. Uh, this is have this side wall up like this. Okay. This side wall up like this. Put one piece in first, and the piece, this little top lip is going to fit right over this little square. And then you're going to put two bolts in underneath it, okay? So you have this piece here, two bolts underneath it. Same for the other side. And it's going to look like this. Now, if you do it a little different, that's fine. You don't have to be, follow the directions 100%. You can customize this however you want, just like we are. We're customizing this based off of how we want to do it. You guys can do it however you want. Now, now that we have this up, we're going to put the wheels on uh, probably, probably last. I think we're going to place the wheels on last, and then we'll just simply tip this whole thing over, put the wheels on. But you can put the wheels on first, whatever you guys want to do. That's up to you. In my personal recommendation, a power tool is a must. I mean, it's not a must, to be quite honest. They give you the tool to tighten everything. But, I mean, that takes so long doing it by hand. I mean, tighten each one by hand when the power tool takes seconds per bolt. This is going to be what the bolt looks like. It is not a screwdriver or a flathead bolt. So make sure you have the bit for that. Um, but a power tool is really going to help you. All right, everyone. So we put the wheels on. Um, I will give my final update. Of course, we have it upside down. So we placed it upside down for the last two pieces here. I will say this. Now, maybe you won't have to do this, but I had to quote unquote what they call manhandle it. Um, to get some of the pieces to fit inside, I had to push it, put one corner in. And then I had to stretch both pieces out from side to side to get the other corner in. Now, maybe you won't have to do that, but I did. However, it was not a problem because, you know, I'm strong enough to do it. But with that being said, keep that in mind. The installation is simple. I mean, you just put two bolts there, two bolts there. As you can see, some pieces got bent. Um, and the bolts that they give you are not that strong as far as durable so uh, electric drill will drill them out but you know once you put the bolts in there's really no reason to remove them so let's show you guys what it looks like here okay everyone this is it completed now we still need to put bolts through the top here um, a couple pieces for us came bent in the corners that was during shipping so we need to rebend the corner up to get it to align perfectly but it, when you're done, you replace the bolts down through here. Uh, for us bending it, it's not, it's not going to be that hard. I just need to get a flat head, put a flat head in the back, twist it, pull it up. No big deal. Uh, for the other ones, they lined up really nice. And yeah, it's nice. Great for putting... You can put books on it. I'm going to be using it for uh, my business product reviews. So I'm going to be placing different stuff on here. But overall... It is nice.